joined by Jim Kellerman after Shot's 2 0 win away at Maidstone. Um, hopefully, you'll hear Jim over the music coming from the Aldershot Town dressing room. It's kind of the done thing, isn't it? Whichever team wins a game of football, they're the one that earns the right to put their, their music on as loud as that. <laughs> well done, Jim. You played your part today. You've waited a while, haven't you, for that start? And we've talked about your up and down season. Um, today, you played your part in a fine professional victory. Yeah, um, I think first 25 minutes we like implemented ourselves on the game. And we, we did really well, passed it side to side. Um, when we came away from that and the game plan, I think it became a lot more messy and that suited them a lot more. But I think today we've shown that we can do the dirty side and come away with a victory because it's not an easy place to come here where it's quite tight with the fans and we've done well. We've done well. But I think, like I say, if we'd carried on with the game plan, as we were told to, then we would have made it a lot more comfortable for ourselves throughout the day, but at the end of the day we've come with over three points, so we're happy. It certainly seemed to us as viewing spectators that uh, we were able to get all too comfortable a foothold in the first half. I think we were at the races and uh, made them a little, a little bit slow to get started, but my goodness, they were a different proposition after the after the break, and, and what perhaps they made, you know, they lacked in quality, they made up with sheer heart, and they gave us a, a pretty torrid half an hour at the start of the second half. Well, we, we knew that they'd come out with with everything for the first five minutes, and to be fair, I think Coley's made an unbelievable save at one point, and if that goes in, you know, changes the whole aspect of the game, and we're back to square one. But that's why we've got everyone in the squad together, and Coley's here to make saves, and he's done his job. Um, but again, like I said, you know, we've had to dig deep and it's, they're a good side, they, they're good at what they do, they make it difficult here and uh, again, we're just happy to come away with three points. We've talked many times this season about the fact that we've got a small squad, yeah. but it's a squad of quality and uh, after a number of games where for those of you on the sidelines it must have been frustrating because the team were in good form unbeaten and pretty much the same 11 going out. On this occasion, the management team decided to make th not one but three changes and, and you were part of that. Talk to us just a little bit about the way we wanted to approach the game in terms of our shape today, because we changed, didn't we, to more of a 4-3-3. Well, last week obviously York came with the five at the back and I think it took us a while to get to grips with that. Uh, and today we knew they were going to play with the five. Um, so it's a case of our full backs against their wing backs, which leaves our centre halves 2v2, um, which we're comfortable with because Will and Cal can, I'm confident they can deal with anyone in the league. Uh, and I was in there to, you know, rather than the centre halves going in the channels, I was going out there to try and help out. But uh, yeah, it was to sort of nullify their their strengths with their tricky, tricky wing backs and then the big man up top and the sharp lad as well. Um, but at the same time we could exploit their weaknesses because we had overloads on the wings a lot. And like I say, first 25 minutes I thought we did that well, switching it quite a lot. Um, and then as it gone on, we, I don't know why, but we stopped doing it and that's when they came, came more into it. Absolutely, and you know, for, for, for sort of 30 minutes into the second half, it felt like 30 minutes of squeaky bum time as an Aldershot Town fan. And what we needed was a moment that would relieve the pressure and secure the win, and, and we got it, didn't we? With the man over, Jake the man who's, who's, who's probably approaching somewhere behind me as we speak, and we'll be talking to in a minute. <laughs> but a man who will have enjoyed that finish. Um, you know, he's, he's added goals to his game of late. But uh, your thoughts on Jake as a player and, and someone around you in the team because he's uh, great. He's isn't brilliant. He? He's absolutely brilliant. I mean, um, when you're playing and you see him marauding up through the midfield, and you're thinking, how much energy has he got? Um, but I think he's, at the moment, he's Mr. Aldershot and uh, no, we love him, we love him in the change room. He's brilliant to have in the team. Um, I was screaming at him towards the last 10 minutes to stay. Yeah. <laughs> and then he's, he's got his goal and made it comfortable for us. Um, and that's what he does. And like I say, he's added games to, add, goals. added goals to his game yeah. now. And yeah. I don't know, there's just no stopping him at the moment. He's in well, really good form. <laughs> Credit to, credit to you somewhere in that, that he felt comfortable to go forward because yeah. you did marshal things superbly you know, in front of the, the defence today and certainly up in the commentary box you were, you were one or two or three mentioned very close for the, for the man of the match today. Um, we're in that period, I'm glad to say, uh, that, we, that we have uh, seven days again now. You know, we're not too much of the midweek games, a big, big emphasis on that was earlier on in the season, so we've got a week to recover. Um, by the looks of you, you haven't gone 90 minutes for a while. You've not, you'll have noticed all three subs have been done. And you're still on the pitch. Is that when the cramp fell? <laughs> um, I've never had cramp. 
in my whole career and yeah. today was the first for it so didn't know whether I was injured or, <laughs> or it was just crap. Um, I just wonder when did he come on because I think I, I saw you do a magnificent leap to try and win a header it, yeah. and was it you when literally landed. snapped into the cards as you when, went up? When, when I landed I just felt it and I, was, then I cramped up but I could have carried on but I think at the time we were under the cosh a little bit so mm. it stayed down as it did most of the game on the floor. Um, <laughs> <laughs> And just killed a bit of time, but yeah, I'll be all right. I'll be fine. I think we'd all love to be in the cups and things like that, but at the moment, at the, the form we're in, and it gives us seven days to recover. And Barrow obviously have got, I think they've got a FA Trophy game today or something, and it's different for them because they're in all. I think are they in the FA Cup as well? I think they're in the uh, no, they're out of the FA Cup now, but that's obviously slowed down their fixtures. They've got a couple of games in hand on us, but we've gone above them today. And, and a massive opportunity, not just to keep that gap, but to extend it next Saturday. And a lot of people still hurting from the defeat up there early in the season when surely we deserved better. Well, we know what they're about, and I think today was a good. Um, I, I wouldn't like to say warm up because I want to show more respect to Maidstone, but it was a good um, insight as to what we're going to get next week. Physicality. Physicality was, yeah, and it will be long balls, but. As I said today, we've ground out a result and done the dirty side. And if we do that next week, I think you know we can get three points. But we need to win next week. Congratulations on your own performance. You. The team performance. Have a, a great week in training, and we'll see you next Saturday. Come on, Jim, we've got to go, mate. I'm not. <laughs>